Adobe has announced the release of the latest update of After Effects 23.2. The latest version of its digital visual effects, compositing, and motion graphics software. This version introduces a couple of improvements, but mainly the release adds support for movie industry color management standard Open Color IO and the ACES CG Color Space, which is a big deal if you work in motion graphics or VFX for films, as it simplifies the complexity arising from the use of multiple image capture and presentation devices by providing a universal standard across the board that maintains, and I quote, end to end image fidelity. End quote. Adobe wrote on the update summary posted on February 7th, quote, Open Color IO simplifies the ACES workflow and enables you to work natively in ACES within After Effects, end quote. Another great improvement on this iteration is also the inclusion of text layer parameters on the Properties panel. The Properties panel has been introduced in 2021, the beta version. If you are coming from Photoshop or Illustrator, it should be familiar to you. This panel will allow you to easily access all the important properties of the selected layer, so you don't have to fiddle around with multiple layer hierarchies every time you want to change a single property. And we all know the struggle. In this beta 23.2 version, the properties panel will include a quick and easy way to edit all the properties from the character and paragraph panels from your selected layer. You can control the font, fill or stroke color, alignment and even add text animation all without the need for switching back and forth between different panels, which will save you a lot of time. If you want to check out the beta version, you can easily do so from the Creative Cloud app. Under beta apps, you will see all the apps that are available to you. The 23.2 update wasn't a huge overhaul to any specific areas in After Effects. However, the 23.0 version back in October really changed a lot of things for the better, like the new workflow for matte layers, the return of everyone's favorite format H264 export, and a ton of presets and animation in addition to a lot of workflow enhancements. But it looks like After Effects is heading in the right direction. Now all that is left is for Adobe to cancel their subscription model and offer a lifetime license, which is not gonna happen. Talking about Adobe, we actually created an awesome video about some of the spicy anti-consumer practices that Adobe is recently known for. We really put a lot of effort into it, so please check it out and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can get the latest update of 3D and the CG industry. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.